Chainsaw Mess is always, always fun. Um, but we never know when we actually can uh, start the lives um, because we're waiting for them to come off a break or, or lunch or whatever. So we're not always on time. So we appreciate everybody out there to bear with us as we're starting just a little bit late. Um, but hey, we got everybody. And um, I am just pulling up the comments. Hopefully you guys can see me. Give me a good thumbs up or a yes if you can see me, if you can hear me okay. Um, Appreciate it. I'm just uh, waiting on everybody. Um, my tech guy, I don't see, you know, I don't see that it's live. So for me, it still says waiting for you here from John. Are we live? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Let me just maybe refresh my screen. In the comment section, if you guys could just put a yes to hear me, see me, okay. I'd appreciate it. Uh, can you hear me? Uh, Java Bob, can you hear me? Solving 4X. Uh, you guys that are out there, Joseph, um, just making sure you guys can hear me uh, online before we get started. I appreciate it. And I know there's a little bit of a lag. Yes, I'll wait. Uh, Orlando, are you live? Can you give me a thumbs up? We're good? All right. Let's keep going. Uh, for some reason, my phone is uh, not pulling up comments. So what I'll do is I'll have Orlando check the comments. And if you guys have any questions throughout, feel free to ask them. And then, Orlando, if you could uh, lob me some of those questions, I'd appreciate it. All right. All right, guys. So like I was saying, um, we're here at the Wobble Technique Bootcamp. Now let me, let me give you a little bit of a, a little bit of a background about the wobble. For those of you guys who are unfamiliar with what the wobble is, it's it's, um, it's a technique, not a strategy. And I want to make sure that that is explained before we get started, because a strategy is basically how you read the market or know when to get in, when to get out. Um, basically, it's and and a technique is how you deploy that strategy. And so the wobble technique can be paired or combined with multiple strategies. Um, and it's something that Sean Lucas, um, the owner of Aviary Fund and the head trader of uh, Aviary Fund and trader on the street, uh, has basically he had an aha moment um, a long time ago and started being like, okay, the market is always shift. Markets change. But how can I make money in any market condition? And so he started playing around with a few different variations. And out of his experience and his knowledge, the wobble technique was born. Um, and it wasn't just until a couple of years ago that he's like, okay, let me see if I can package this up and offer it as help for um, the Apiary Fund um, students. And it's kind of taken off. You know, personally, um, I trade with it. Um, the answer is kind of new to the industry. So, so a lot of people out there are unsure about it. So I wanted to kind of um, ask the question, the wobble technique, does it work? Now, I'm biased, um, and I'm, I'm going to tell you that I'm biased right out of the gate because I use it and I love it. But I wanted to bring on a couple of people here um, today to kind of tell you their experiences with maybe wall technique or, or their experience trading in general, and then answer any questions that you guys have. Um, and I'm going to start out with, uh, with, with Josh real fast. We got, uh, after, actually, I'm going to have you guys introduce you. So if you want to mind, let's go ahead and go down the line and introduce you yourselves, um, maybe uh, what you do if you do anything else for a living other than trading, or what you, your occupation has been up to trading, and then how long have you been trading? Let's kind of start with that, so I appreciate it. Sure. Um, my name is John Scott. I've, uh, I've been trading for about two years now. Uh, I do it full time. Uh, my background is I was uh, an IT guy um, for about 10 years, and then I was an entrepreneur in companies. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, hey, I'm Josh Rodriguez. I've um, been with the Apiary Fund and traded with Apiary Fund solely for about three and a half years now. Uh, my background, uh, I work in film television as a, as a stunt performer and been doing that for about 10 years. Uh, and yeah, I, I trade almost full time, more full time hours <laughs> for, for right now. Good. Thank you, Josh. Yeah. Hi, um, my name is Dana Bess. Um, I've been trading 
um, with my own money outside the APRA fund since May of 2018. And I joined the APRA fund in the um, summer of 2018, and my prior experience includes law enforcement and real estate. So, wow, what a diverse background that we have here. And I appreciate you guys coming on. First of all, I appreciate you guys coming on and uh, helping us out with this. But you have an IT slash entrepreneur, stunt coordinator, right? Movie film production, right? That's got to be interesting for sure in and itself. And then um, real estate, law, Corrections. correction, okay. Yeah, so, and that's awesome. That's in, it's really diverse, right? So you guys have had, obviously, all three of you guys have walked different paths or in your career. But yet, you've all come together to learn how to trade, right? Or to learn the wobble technique this week. So one of the questions that I get a lot, I'm going to ask this to, to Josh. One of the questions that I get a lot on the wobble technique when people are first, first seeing it, right? Um, well, there's two questions, but I'll just go Is they often confuse the wobble technique or um, the mark deal. Are you familiar with the mark deal? And so, what would you say, what are the differences, or why, what what makes the wobble technique different from a mark deal type um, strategy or technique? Yeah, well, uh, the wobble technique, I think it's easy to confuse it because it does look mark deal esque as it's being applied. Um, but the difference between Martingale approach and using the wobble technique within your strategy is that you're never just doubling down all the time. It's it's applying certain amounts and allocating uh, your money and you're going to have an exit though, whereas with Martingale you probably don't have a hard exit and you're just going to keep doubling down and that's not the case with the wobble technique. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. So, another question that I get a lot and I realize this is not on the wall it looks messy, it looks hard to read, and what would you say to that is like, it looks complicated, I guess. It does look complicated, um, it's, it, it, if you don't know what you're doing, it looks very complicated, um, so the wobble technique can be fitted towards uh, different needs, like I need a simpler, cleaner looking screen, some people like Sean can have infinitely many trades on there, but he's able to see what he's doing, he knows where to place them. I need to simplify it a little bit, so there's something out there for everybody with the wall technique. So are you, um, any of you guys trade the wall technique before you came to this book? Something like it. So, I think so are you do, and you, are you, what about you? Oh, before the boot camp? Yeah. Or, uh, yeah, definitely been applying that for a while. Okay, so you've learned that before you came. Yes. Okay, and you too? Yeah, I learned it from watching uh, the Trader on the Street and uh, also from the videos on uh, Ape Theory the Tuesday or Thursday morning the Trader. Okay, and yourself, you've learned it before you came here? I watched a few videos and it was trial and error for me. Okay. But this went over the top, so I I think I'm going to fix what I was thinking. Awesome, excellent. So, so we have three people here that actually knew about the wall technique. So that's probably why they're here, honestly. Yeah. He's like, hey, I want to take this to the next level. Okay. Um, so let me ask you. Let me ask you this. What's something that um, since you've traded the wall before, okay, what's something that maybe you didn't know that, or you had that aha moment already? I mean, we're, we're here for the full week and we're halfway in, so there's still plenty of time for, for more knowledge, but what's something that maybe you could take away already that you may get it, you may get it now? Well, I, I think just being around the caliber of people and traders uh, that Apiary has has given me a lot of awful moments. But specifically for the, the wobble technique, uh, learning how to allocate my trades uh, and understanding how heavy to go at each level and also when to start closing trades um, it has been really helpful. I've learned a lot more about that uh, here at the Wall uh, Training Center. So if you don't mind sharing, what was some of your, where you get in trouble about this? Just going in too heavy. Going yeah, like uh, just going in really heavy or, or not understanding how to allocate my trades correctly. And uh, I've learned uh, you know, some habits on how to fix that here. You want to share what's something that you've kind of picked up that will help to mitigate those heavy losses on this? Uh, definitely closing trades 
at the right time, or else, like Josh is talking about, it's the Martingale technique if you're not closing the trades at the right times. Um, the other one is using some kind of sequence, like somebody told me to use a Fibonacci sequence. On the first trade being one or two trades, and then going in on the next layer, you know, three or four, and then maybe ten at the last trade uh, level, where before I was just like, you know, shotgunning every every layer and then getting in too deep into it, and then it would just go out of hand if you're wrong. Yeah, I'm sure um, for most of you guys that are watching this, uh, you may, may or may not already know that Sean actually trades the wobble technique exclusively. And he does it um, almost every week where he does it live um, and he shows people how he does it. But I think mimicking what Sean does and, and, and learning the steps might be two different things because Sean's a master at it, right? And so he, he all of his steps are in his mind. So something that we wanted to do this week is break those steps down. Right. So I'm going to ask you the same question, Josh. What is something that you could take away that you've learned, to take a couple takeaways that you've learned that you can implement to make your trading better? Yeah, uh, well, I want to like really back up what um, you are saying uh, with uh, sizing and stuff and just getting in too soon. I think what we're learning, or at least what I, I can take away, is that it's being quite clearly defined how we're sizing as we're starting to get in on different layers and levels in the market. I think that just having that clearly defined, I'm not questioning so much now, like, how heavy do I need to be here or there? I've already, and we're, we're mapping that out before we even, uh, you know, even get into the, the trade. So I think that that definition of sizing and where and how we're allocating has been made, like, so much clearer to me. So the question um, that, that I get a lot too out there is really, can you make money on two bits? <laughs> Certainly you can. Yeah. And if uh, if your setup is all good, you might get in pretty deep into your max setup position and you can really do a lot of work in two pips. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of what, you know, if you see Sean, he's always going for two or three pips, right? He never goes for, rarely ever does he go for greater than that, right? Um, because he, because part of the wobble technique is just taking sips out of the market, rather than trying to hit the home runs or just hit those base hits, if you will, you know what I mean? Take little tiny sips out of the market and have those add up. So I'm sure you've been in this situation before where you've taken two, two, you've taken multiple two pip gains. So let's say you take, you put on 20 trades and they're all two pip trades. Then all of a sudden comes along one loss and if you're, I guess, putting this into question, has, have you ever been there before? Yes. Okay. And so, how, before you came to this, what was, where was your expertise? And now, as you're here, have you learned anything on how to recover those, those runaway trades, if you will? Um, looking at the zones and the coursework helped me to prevent or to uh, neutralize some of the situations where you would have a sudden market goes against you. Uh, how to, so you have a plan, a plan on how can I fix this. I also know that beforehand, it was easy for me to get the two, three, four pit trades, and I go up to five sometimes, so I know not to do that now. Uh, I could easily get it, but when I had a loss, the losses were huge. And so I now know by using um, the lines of decision to go ahead and manage the trades or close them out or you know adjust your expectations for the trades. I also know how many to put on each line. I used to say, oh well, I see I can do like maybe two here, five here. I can make it. I can make the money back. Yeah. And that's how I would quickly get into trouble. I have you know more than half of my um, my uh, risk out there. And that's not a good situation to be in um, on losing side of the trade because I'm just, oh, it feels good. Let me put it here. Now I'm going to stop that. So let's talk about conditions, market conditions, right? You often hear um, this indicator is good for predicting a trend, or this indicator is good for um, a consolidating market or a trending market. How would you say, what what is a perfect condition? And I'll anybody take this. Well, what would you say for your training is the perfect condition to deploy the market? Market condition. 
Go ahead. Okay, that's a good one. Uh, uh, definitely um, consolidating, you know, four to five pit ranging, eight pivot, you know, between pivots, lots of up and down stuff. It's, that's what's really conducive to this and the way I like to trade too. So, yeah. Um, even just lightly trending is okay as long as there's decent volatility and up and down movement, it's excellent. So I think you hit the, the key word right there is volatility, right? Um, wobble technique serves really good in the volatile market. That means that it's coming, it's going down, it's going up. Um, obviously, you need to move more than two pips, or you're not going to be able to take those you know, sips. Um, but why would you be trading if the market was moving it up, right? So in, a, in normal conditions, the wobble technique tends to work on, on a volatile market, right? So have you guys ever been trading the wobble technique? situation where the market has not been volatile and what would be done in that, in that situation. Where it's just been a marching market one way or the other, right? Yeah, um, if, if you apply this technique correctly, you can still get yourself out of trouble if, if you end up in a grindy directional market. You're, if it just is going one way and you don't have volatility. Um, if you've mapped out your, your game plan pretty well, you can usually find that if you get a, if you finally get a leg uh, in favor, you can you can recover or it, it makes a profit even when if you have to wait a long time for a leg or a volatility to step in. So sometimes you just gotta have to be patient and have no volatility. <laughs> <laughs> so um, also you were saying uh, off camera, you know, but you were saying like um, how. You were trying to trade by yourself, and then you got you started with us. How long have you been with us? About two years now. About two years. Uh -huh. Previously, kind of take us through that journey of starting to trade, and then you found the Apiary Fund. Take, take me through that journey. What's up? Um, I, I started trading, uh, like you said, about two years ago, and uh, I looked on the market, and everybody is selling systems and. Uh, one of the things that really attracted me to Apiary was that nobody's showing you right at the minute making money. Everybody's talking about making money, but nobody's actually doing it live uh, the way Sean was doing it. So I spent a lot of money on different systems of people that were promising that I was going to make money, uh, but they weren't using the system. They were just making money off you know, me paying them for the system. Um, with Sean, it's completely different. There is a massive library. That I, that I you can go back on to learn the technique, watching him do it in the live market conditions, making money consistently every single time that he trades. Um, so because of that, I've just been on the journey of just following him and learning the wobble technique and what he's doing. And uh, just to get the question of the type of markets that it works in and that it doesn't work in, um, I've been incredibly, like massively wrong on my analysis and still broken even on trades or made money. It's incredible. Because um, I always thought you have to be right. And with this technique, you don't. That's what I, I personally love about it, is that, um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll say this, Sean often says this, so I didn't coin this, I, I, I this still, he says, he's like, you know, I'm often um, right about where the market's going, but wrong on how it gets there. But that's okay, because you can make money if the market's doing this, right? But, but here or here, I'm gonna say that's, it's kind of what where the wobble technique probably falls short a little bit is um, whenever you're in an outside range or it's a marching market, and so you need to be cognizant or aware of that so you can be done trading um, for the day or for the session if the market turns into a non-volatile situation. Right? Would you agree with that? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you're we have you've been with us a couple of years, Josh. You've been with us for coming on for. Coming off four years. And then how long have you been with us for? Since around uh, August or July of 2008. Okay, perfect. So less than a year. What's your experience been like so, for six months or whatever? Well, um, beforehand, around May of 2019, I started trading my own money. I was more of an intraday trader. Okay. Uh, I was doing really well, so I thought. And then the exit hit. Um, and I realized that, you know, I did a decent job at teaching myself with the material that was out there for free, um, but now I, um, I found on Forex Peace Army, Air Period Fund, and I thought I'd give it a try because it had pretty positive uh, reviews. Uh, so it's helped me to trade a different way 
it's hard for me, for me personally, the way I trade to do intraday trading right now because there's just such low volume and low volatility. Um, so this is a way I can trade every day, um, no matter what market condition it seems to be, except for a flat one, obviously. But you know, there's no volatility at all. It's just flat. You know, it's a little different. But sure. I can, in fact, trade most days now with this rather than oh, I have to wait until the conditions are ideal for me to enter a trade. That was oh, what I had to do beforehand. Excellent. I, I, I first of all, I appreciate all your guys' thoughts. Um, and that you guys are willing to come on and just have kind a of chat. Um, do we have any questions out there? If, we, if not, maybe fire up a few questions. Um, I wanted to get to those before we kind of close. But do we do have one question from Adam DeBeck? Okay. It says, how do you determine how much to put on each level? Is there a formula or guidepost? Thanks, Adam. Um, uh, I appreciate that, that question. So um, each level, he's talking about maybe zones. Um, and uh, that's a, that, I'm gonna, I, I, I can answer that, but I'm probably gonna lean to anybody of you guys wanna take that. Like, what do you do? How much, how much do you stack on? I'm not really sure if, because I haven't been here all week, if they've covered that or they're going to cover that. Or if they haven't covered that, what do you guys do? Maybe we can answer that together. Uh, there's not a good hard answer because okay. each individual is just naturally going to apply the way, the way they do things just a bit differently, but I think being able to map out how much before you trade, uh, you can just pre-allocate your money. Yeah. It's defined, you define it before you get in, so there's not a hard rule on how much you're going to get in at layer one, layer two, layer three. You can allocate it depending on how you feel the conditions are and the probability of your strategy. Is there something that you guys typically do? I just start small. Start small. No matter what is going on, I, I start small, small, and I start going heavier okay. as the market goes against because the probabilities of it turning around increases. Okay. If I'm vain, sure. So and we get into that too. You just open up another keyword in the pen. It's very, very important for fades and builds, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, you? What do you do? Um, I can tell you what I was doing before. <laughs> Uh, beforehand, I would start with two trades, and then I would get greedy um, at what I thought was what we now call a zone or a level of uh, line of decision. Um, I would just get greedy. It's like, oh, this is going against me. I know I'm right. I'm gonna throw some more on there, sure. and it would just some days it would snowball. You know. Uh, so at this point in time, I come in like you said with the game plan beforehand, and I start out with one, then I do two, kind of like a palindrome, but I have a limit of where I'm going to go. So no more than X amount of trades on any level. I also know if it goes to this zone or this level, here's what I'm going to do to fix it. And I'm still learning and experimenting with it, honestly. Yeah, one of the things that I did personally is I'm kind of like you. I, when I first get in, I don't get in. I don't like just D -d 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 -d, stack my trades. I'm not like jumping in off the deep end. I'm just testing the water. So I get in a little bit light. Um, as it comes against me, you know, one of the things that with the wobble technique has taught me from a personality is that I hate when I'm right the first time. <laughs> yeah, and it's and that's kind of counterproductive to all sorts of methodologies out there because when you're right the first time. Um, when you just go in light, you don't get an um, opportunity to make bigger returns, right? And so I'm almost like it when I get in early and it goes against me a little bit because like you yeah. said, the probability for that to turn, turn it just increases. You make more money when you're wrong. You make more money when you're wrong with the wall thing, you know? Um, the key is to not get in so heavy so that you don't have any more um, positions to trade with, right? And so. Um, if you if you map it out like what Josh said, you map it out. You know, okay, I'm only going to trade one full lot size. Let's just take that as an easy math. One full lot size. But with the wobble technique, it says let's not just put one full lot size and one trade and hope that it pans out. It says let's break that one full lot size up into you know 10 trades or uh, 20 trades, right? And now we're trading with a .05. And we're getting in early. We'll probably put you know three of those on. Wait for it to go against this. Now we'll put four on, and if it goes against us a little bit more, maybe we'll put a little bit more on. But you also have to be cognizant of your levels and your zones, which the wobble technique talks about. That if it crosses this zone, you're no longer in high probability of 
profit, now you're in fix it mode. We talked about that, right? Yes. So, and you need to understand and know when that line crosses from profitability to fix it mode. And even in fix it mode, you can make money, right? Mm -hmm. You just need to know when that happens. And the key to the bottle technique is not getting in so heavy, not jumping into the deep end without a life jacket, right? Because now you're treading water and you have nowhere else to go. So the key to the wobble technique is, is taking sips, breaking it up into little bite-sized um, opportunities, and then taking advantage when the market does turn into your favor. Do you guys agree with that statement? Absolutely. All right, well again, appreciate everybody coming out here. I'll leave you with, with um, one last thing that each of you guys can say and we'll close it. But basically, um, for me, I'm thankful and grateful that Sean brought me the wobble technique that I'm able to uh, turn a profit almost daily when, I, when I'm able to trade um, and I use it on a daily basis. It's the only technique that I use um, combined with you know just little tiny steps out of the market. Um, I'm gonna ask one final question to each of you guys. It's basically, um, give me your overall thoughts and assessments of how this week's been and what you're gonna take away into next week and beyond that'll help you to become a better trader. Uh, well, for me, the, the nuances of the technique, like uh, fix-it mode, uh, understanding when I'm in fix-it mode. Because before, I didn't understand when I was in fix-it mode. So that's really been defined very clearly, and I think that is going to make a huge difference in how much money I make in the market. Uh, uh, overall, um, the other thing I've learned, too, is I had a really hard time trying to figure out the direction of the trend. Very, very difficult, and I think I, I just had an aha moment with some of the explanations of some of the teachers here. Excited to go back and put it in practice. Yeah, very. Yeah, yeah uh, just agreeing there too. Um, uh, I think just having Sean's experience and uh, explaining how to learn where that underlying uh, current, which way the market really is going with some of the bigger players, and staying in line with that, and how valuable that is when it comes to. Uh, so that's a big game changer. Yeah, yeah game changer. Uh, and understanding the power of the wobble technique uh, and that it can provide such consistency, like you said, you, you trade like, and you, most days you can come up like almost every day if you're getting it right, you know. And that's that's amazing because some traders you know to go into their position and maybe they just have a losing day. Maybe the next day's a winning day. Maybe the next one's a losing day. But this provides so much consistency, and it's, it's amazing. And I love that. I love that um, we've got a good curriculum here, and that we're defining exactly how we're uh, uh, tra trading at certain levels, and, and defining our, where our, our trade setup is failing, and we need to reassess our goals and how we uh, fix our trades that are, have failed. And the ability, and it's just amazing that we have the ability to fix a failed setup. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to walk away with. Eager awesome. to get back and put it in practice? Absolutely. It's, it's <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, I, uh, week is going by quickly. Um, I am taking away really structure. Um, I kind of tend to wing things, just eyeball it. Now I have more concrete structure as to, like I said, the levels of the lines of decision, your zones, fix it zone. I, think, I feel as though I am easily able to say, okay, Here's the point of no return based on these trend lines or these uh, support and resistance levels. Um, I have more structure, which I think will make a difference. Excellent. I appreciate all of you guys' answers on that. Um, so the big question was today, we were asking the question, does the well technique really work? What would you guys say? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. All right. Yes. Thank you guys for your time. Thank you guys for sharing. And uh, make sure that if you guys like this video and many others, of course, you hear this all the time on YouTube, but it's so true. Like, subscribe, hit that bell because we really, really are trying to bring you guys content that will help you guys in learning trade and, and being consistent. Like John said, I love that is being consistent. And I think that that is, if there's one thing that the wobble technique has brought me is just that, is being consistent in the market and, and, and hopefully for most people, myself, it's consistently winning, right? <laughs> so, all right, guys. Hey, thank you, um, and uh, we'll catch you guys next week. I appreciate it, and, and that's it. We good? <laughs> <laughs>